Hi folks, you're looking for guidance on the 12 mark question in your Unit 3 Edexcel paper. Remember, whichever context you pick, after the 4 and the 8 you're going to have a 12 marker. It's going to be an evaluation based question, starting with the word maybe discuss or evaluate, maybe it's the phrase to what extent, it doesn't matter what word they use, it's an evaluation based question. Right? That requires car with evaluation, 6 marks for your knowledge application analysis, I, on the one hand, six marks for your evaluation on the other hand. So two-sided argument needed here. Right, to get your car marks, I would recommend making three points. You don't need to, two points is enough, but three points is safe. If you know three points to say on the one hand, say three points, you get two marks for each, you bank your marks, absolutely fine. What kind of things are you looking for to get your marks here? Definitions, yeah. Applications, certainly, in your point. So whatever point you're making, refer to the extract material, put something in there that backs up the point you're trying to make, and explain your point, of course. Does that mean drawing a diagram? If relevant, then absolutely. You can safeguard yourself and bank your marks. So I'm saying two, two, and two here for your three points. Um, if you do a really good point, you can get up to three marks, so bear that in mind as well. There's no harm in writing extra depth, because then if one of your points flunks, you've got two more to still get you your six marks with your car on the one hand. So that's what I said here. You have a choice of making two points and getting three marks for each, or three points and looking on average two marks for each. That is the safer way. Three times two is safer. And in 15 minutes to answer this question, so easy, I think, to do that with practice, not a problem. You're then looking for evaluation. Six marks available for your evaluation points. Remember that could be limitations of your car theory on the one hand, it could be what your theory on the one hand depends on, absolutely. So again, you're looking for three points, same technique. Three points on average two marks per point, which means if you flunk one, but you do two of them really well, you can still get your marks, yeah? So three points is what you're looking for. Look to apply in each point again, you'll get marks for that. Look to explain your evaluation points and you can score your marks. Three points. Safety is always your best friend in these examination papers. You can't go wrong with being safe. But practice a technique, then you know that you can do it. In the exam, if you're really struggling to come up with three points, whether it's on the one hand or on the other hand in evaluation, then yeah, two points is fine. But then if you do pick two points, you've really got to nail the depth. You can't make any mistakes. Bear that in mind. But if you know three points on both sides, pick three points. That's a technique on these 12 markers. Remember, at least 15 minutes you're looking to leave to do this well. Thanks so much for watching. Practice this. Do really well in it. Use the mark schemes to guide you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.